Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and sooner or later, if you go into this YouTube slash video creation business, you will want to record a better B-rolls. You know, not the part of the video when you show your face, no matter how beautiful or ugly it is, but the part when you want to show your product. And for example, when you want to add some dynamics into your usually static shots if you do not have a separate cameraman. So, What's the option? You can buy a dolly or a camera slider. There is a plenty of those things uh, in the internet, especially in the China. You just pay them a few hundred bucks and you have the camera slider, aka dolly. Everything is fantastic. Or if you are slightly into the do-it-yourself hobby, you can make it yourself. Guess which option have I chosen? It's dynamic. So, as you probably guessed, I chose the option to build a camera slide slider, aka a camera dolly, by myself using whatever I could find in the shops around me. What I have built is basically a one axis camera slider. It uses some 3D printed parts, it uses 20 by 20 millimeter V slot aluminium profiles, it uses a stepper motor ESP32 that drives everything and provides a pretty useful web interface for the whole slider and of course uh, linear bearings, linear rods, uh, lead screw couplers and stuff like that. As the result I have a half a meter which is approximately 20 inches uh, of the rail available for me to carry my camera wherever I want in one axis so far. There is a plan to extend the camera slider with the second axis so I will have also the pan possibility. Uh, but for this I'm waiting for the small enough stepper motors to be able to fit them on the, on the platform. But already the electronics is prepared to accept a second step stick driver so I will be able to not, no, no, I will not have to redo all the electronics again. And the results. The results I have to say that on one hand are kind of promising because yes indeed um, it allows you to add some dynamics into previously stuck shots which is great for recording the b-rolls of the product or for example like I showed you just before for example some dynamics to shots on your face with the regulated speed of course so you have the control of what's happening and with the addition of the second uh, second stepper motor and the pan possibility this would be probably even 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 better the options are almost unlimited and because of that I decided that the electronics the code that drives the whole whole system right now on the ESP using ESP32 using the Arduino is open source. I do most of my stuff open source so if you would like to build yourself a camera slider like mine you're free to do so it's absolutely free. The link to the repository is in the description. If however you are expecting that I will also give you the STLs for the all the 3D printed parts you're also correct because the repository also will contain the parts and the list of other things that you will need to build yourself a camera slider like that. Bear in mind, like I mentioned already, this is one axis. Right now we have only linear axis and the plan is in the future to also add the pan on the second uh, stepper motor that will allow basically to have not only linear movement but some kind of the nice panning for the for the b-rolls okay i think i have to stop this thing right now and maybe even a bit slightly further away from me yeah you see you see how useful this thing is so uh if you would like to build yourself a camera slider like mine or just see how i handle some of the problems like for example a uh, simple web servers on the arduino be my guest uh, the link is in the description some pictures some additional materials be my guest and if you are feeling that maybe i should help uh, help pavel a little to make this uh, do it yourself camera slider better please propose a pull request i'm very open to 
uh, getting help from everyone. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.